Gah. I'm annoyed. This is the second week in a row that I have not posted the video that I meant to post. I'm really sorry. It's a cool video, too. Well, when I say cool, I mean vaguely amusing. So hopefully that'll work. But yeah, it's gonna have to wait till next week again. I'm really sorry. Uh, I had it all planned out. I was doing stuff for it. I was filming it. But um, a rehearsal today, they said, was gonna go till 11. But we didn't know that we were getting bigs uh, in FYP. Uh, you know, you have your big and your little, you know, the whole big brother, big sister kind of thing, your family. Um, and what we had to do was we had to each, all, all the first years, had to stand up and give a little presentation about themselves, which is incredibly nerve-wracking. They, you know, say a random fact about you, and you're trying to make yourself, you know, look nice and fun and hope that somebody will take you on as a little. Because I'm really scared, you know, what if nobody takes me as a little? Because that would be really sad and disappointing, and then I would cry. Um, so yeah, that's that's why um, I'm uploading this video at the very last minute, and why I cannot uh, upload the video that I meant to. I'm really sorry. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you something similar to the way that Libby read um, her song. I am going to read you Susan the Narnia Whore. And Lib, I know you've already read it, probably, but I don't know if you have, Kel, so I'm going to read it to you. And this is, of course, you know, to the tune of Taylor the Latte Boy. There's a girl I used to read about who was very inspirational. She was very inspirational because of many things. She was called Susan the Gentle, and I thought that she could teach me. Maybe teach me about growing up and the emotions that it brings. But there was a little problem, which was Aslan didn't like her. And if Aslan doesn't like you, then you're kind of sort of screwed. Yes, there was a little problem, and he thought she was a whore. So he kicked her out of Narnia, which I always thought was rude. Yeah, he kicked her out of Narnia without a single backwards glance. And I'm mad because I liked her, and I think that she deserved a second chance. And there comes the chorus, which goes, I'll sing it for you. Susan the Narnia whore, you can't go back anymore. Oh, Susan the Narnia whore, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Yay. That's all I'm going to read. If you want to read the rest of it, you're going to have to go to my blog and look up the lyrics. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, my sister was talking about making a music video for it, so that's pretty cool. If we if we made a music video, <laughs> oh, probably a really bad one, but even so, that'd be neat, don't you think? Mm, what else can I talk about? Um, I'm going uh, on two tournaments, two fencing tournaments, I don't know if I mentioned. Uh, one is next weekend, and the other is two weekends after that. Uh, and I'm really excited about that. Cause, especially because I got picked for both tournaments. And I know that's only because I'm, you know, only one of a very few number of, uh, one of a very few women foilists. So, you know, they need uh, more girls. But still, it's it's nice to be asked to go to both. I like it. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be a, a pretty short video today. Because um, I don't have a ton to talk about. Uh, his classes are, are a little bit sluggish at the moment. And my social life is, you know, non-existent, as always. What else is new? You know, <laughs> what were you expecting? <laughs> but I hope you guys are having fun, and I hope that your week is going well. Happy hump day, and I will see you guys later. And, Kel, Kel, I will see you on Friday.